want to do another game review today. This one became not so bad. Let me show you why. Now, this game is very underestimated. And when I say very underestimated, I mean it. Very underestimated. Yeah, the music could be a lot better, but the gameplay was not bad. I should slap... Before I slap all you... Or before I slap all you haters out there, I really should be nice. The game I'm going to review today is Sonic 3D Blast for the Genesis. Now, one thing I should quickly note is yes, it's a Sonic game, but it does not work with the Sonic and Knuckles add-on. Nor does it bring up Blue Sphere. Instead, it's really awkward, doesn't register that there's a cartridge on top, and just goes straight to the Sonic and Knuckles software. But we're not reviewing Sonic and Knuckles. I already did that, and it's got over 50 views. Anyway, but um... Sonic 3D Blast. And simply because I don't like the music for this, I'm going to easily substitute the music for this. What do I say could fit this? Hmm. Let's go to my trusty PSP. Oh, uh, this is also, this is the only thing in the game that I don't like. The opening scene is very, very blocky and pixelated. So besides everything else, besides this, it's not that bad a game. Um... So, let's see, what music could fit this? Here we go. Ah, oh, crap, you guys will see it. Anywho, we'll try this. For those of you guys that haven't played Sonic Adventure, this song is called Welcome to Station Square, and happens to be one of my favorite Sonic songs of all time. Now, the controls are a bit slippery, but you get used to them. Now, the object of the game is to kill these and get Flickies. Flickies are these little bird creatures that have been turned into robots by Eggman. After you kill all these, you go to this ring. This is another one. you got to be very careful on some of these. The object is to get five Flickies before you go through the ring. Every time you take damage, you get hit by some flippy, and you have to gather up the rest of the flippy that were lost. But despite this, it's really not that bad again. Then once you're done, you come up here to this ring, you jump, the ring, they all fall through, the ring disappears, stand and teleport to the area. And you basically do the same thing in order to defeat the level. Okay. Now, the reason I'm keeping this review short is because I really don't have much to say about this. I mean, it's it's Sonic, but it's from a platforming perspective. No. From a platforming perspective. In fact, it's almost... Give me a second, I'm having a problem here. It's almost like a top-down, almost Zelda-ish perspective. So, I mean, I can't really complain. I think this is actually not a bad game. But, um, just because I didn't show you earlier, I'm going to show you what happens when I plug this on top of this. Now, as you can see, it's locked in tight. Look what happens. So, the game boots. Sega sound comes on, but Sonic and Knuckles boots. And then you take the cart directly off and it boots that up. But one thing I really like is you can actually hot swap the cartridges. Watch.
see? Hot swapping! Kinda. Anyway. David Grisha from Slash Your Films. See ya.